And there you have it. The side hatch is open for the first time since September. We can see some of the protective uh, equipment there that was brought into frame that will help protect the the edge of the side hatch one from any potential damage oh we can see the recovery crew member there taking photos of the the side hatch seal this is part of the standard operation for recovery these photos will get saved into our into our procedure We'll then install that protective frame around the side hatch. This helps to ensure that the side hatch itself, the, the, the edges of it incur no damage while crew members are coming out from the spacecraft. If you missed it, there was also a recovery team member that went inside. So there are now five people uh, on board the Dragon spacecraft. And if you are just joining us, it has not yet even been an hour since Crew 9 splashed down off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida at 2.57 p.m. Pacific time. The crew is now on board the recovery vessel Megan and the hatch is open. The next major milestone that we'll see is when the crew will actually egress or exit the spacecraft. But before that, they'll continue to, um, the recovery personnel rather, will continue to install that protective um, area around the hatch and then remove the footrests. So we're a couple minutes away from seeing the crew egress, but not too, too long away. We'll probably see those footrests being handed out here in the near future, as I mentioned before. Oh, of course, we got to get a well-documented <laughs> photo of the moment. I, although we can't see it from here, I'm pretty sure there are four smiles on board right now. And we did hear that report out from the commander, Nick Haig, following Splashdown that there were four, four smiles as far as he could see. Yeah, capsule full of grins. <laughs> <laughs> now, generally speaking... Um, and, and there we do see Crew 9, some happy waves, smiles all around back on Earth. Generally speaking, we um, we have the individuals in the two center seats of the spacecraft exit first. Um, you might hear us refer to this as uh, the exit process as egress. Uh, it's just another term for exiting the spacecraft. Generally speaking, we most of the time have the two center seats egress first as it makes moving around inside the capsule a little bit easier. We can see the tablets that were previously uh, located on the upper leg of the crew members. We can see those being handed out to the recovery team. Those were taken off prior to uh, to the entry phase, to, to spacecraft re-entry. Uh, those had to be stored and, and secured prior to dynamic operations. It looks like we are starting to see uh, the foot rests, foot rests also be removed. I just saw um, one there on the screen. There are four, of course, one for each crew member. Those footrests are uh, made out of carbon fiber and are actually sized appropriately for each crew member as everybody has different measurements and different leg lengths. 
Same goes for the armrests and the bucket length of each seat. We size those appropriately um, for the crew members and, uh, and, and to ensure their comfort and safety. I believe we just saw the little ramp that is used to help slide the crew members out from, uh, from inside the spacecraft. And once the crew does exit Dragon Freedom, they will be placed on uh, to um, a, a stretcher to go to a medical bay for medical checkouts. This is standard procedure for all Dragon spacecraft flights that splash down crewed, as well as for our uh, Soyuz spacecraft um, that, that uh, land in Kazakhstan. We could see the exterior of Dragon Freedom quite clearly in this shot, and it it's such a beautiful sight. Uh, it, I personally prefer <laughs> the capsule when it has some of that uh, charring from atmospheric reentry. It is the signature sign of a capsule that has returned to Earth. Next up out of the capsule, we expect Roscosmos cosmonaut Alexander Gorbanov, his first space flight. Spent 171 days in space alongside NASA astronaut Nick Haig. Looks like we're getting some cheers and clapping on board as Alexander is slid down the little ramp and placed into the mobility aid. Again, big smile. <laughs> now the two crew members remaining in Dragon are NASA astronauts Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore. They completed 286 days in space. One of the remaining footrests being removed from the Dragon spacecraft. As I said before, we generally uh, try to have the crew members that are located in the two center seats aboard Dragon. And we like to have them egress first if possible, as it creates a little bit more movable working room inside the, inside the spacecraft. There is a recovery crew member inside that is helping all of our, um, all of our Crew 9 crew egress or exit from the spacecraft. We are standing by for the next crew member to egress or exit uh, Crew Dragon Freedom following the splashdown not even an hour ago at 2.57 p.m. Pacific time. Really have the recovery operations down pretty quick at this point. Yeah, it's pretty incredible to think that you know, just five years ago when we were doing the initial uh, demonstration missions of the Dragon uh, for Crew Dragon that uh, now we're under about 30 minutes for, um, you know, to retrieve the spacecraft from the water and just several minutes here while it's been on board and to get everyone really to get that side hatch open.
For those of you that have just recently joined, the Dragon had an on-time splashdown. Oh, it looks like we're getting our next crew member here. That is none other than Sunny Williams. Big smile, big waves. She, like her other crew members, now uh, will be assisted onto the mobility aid. There we have it, some waves, some thumbs up, and some smiles. Definitely seems to be a theme among all recovery operations. Absolutely. And of course, that leaves NASA astronaut Butch Wilmore inside Dragon in seat four. We're getting some views of him now as he egresses or exits the spacecraft. Once again, some elation and cheers there from Butch Wilmore. As we mentioned before, returning to Earth from coming from a microgravity environment can wreak havoc on the body. So it is customary uh, and just standard procedure for all of our long-term space residents to uh, get assistance once they are back on board the recovery vessel.